So first of all, clean all of your work surfaces and remove any covers from your analytical balance. Do this incredibly carefully as any movement can upset the calibration. Before we start, it's worth noting that all samples have been completely dried and ground into a fine powder. Lay out any of the equipment that you're going to need and set the units of your balance. We're using milligrams since our target weight for most of our samples is going to be 2 milligrams with an acceptable weight of between 1.9 and 2.1 milligrams. These are the two different sizes of tin cups that we're going to be using to put our samples into. The smaller cups are for the 2 milligram samples which is what the majority of our samples will be weighed out as. The slightly larger cups are for the 4 milligram samples which are the weights that are used for the samples containing primary producers. So for example, bra project things like macaragi. The reason for the having the larger sample for primary producers is that the stabilizer topes are present in lower amounts, so we need a larger sample to get a big enough signal. Next, zero the balance using whatever vessel you're going to be weighing your sample into. Once the balance has been zeroed, you can weigh out your sample making sure that you remember to re-zero the balance for each new sample that you do. Whilst weighing out the sample into the tin cup, it can be really useful to stabilise the cup with a pair of forceps, making sure that you always use smooth areas of the forceps. Once you've weighed out your sample correctly, leave the tin cup in the balance and use the smooth parts of the forcep to gently crimp or seal the top part of the tin cup and gently remove it from the balance and lay it flat onto your work surface and as you do so fold down the top couple of millimeters of the tin cup sealing it shut. That's your first fold. Now don't tap out any of the air within the tin cup that might be in there and then instead continue to try and roll it into an oblong shape remembering to keep the air in. So this is an image of it after its second fold and this is an image after its third fold. And after you've folded this three times, you can start to fold it down the other way, almost how a snail shell is coiled, making sure not to tear the tin cup and lose any of your sample. And then gently roll this round so it's again maybe three times, depending on the size of your tin cups that you're using. Finally, using two pairs of forceps, Compress your sample into a cube shape, making sure there are no sharp edges that may catch whilst it's being processed. The last step is to transfer your sample into the correct space on the sample tray and to double check the recorded details for your sample. Thank you very much for watching and I hope this was helpful.